and little. <laughs> Yoga. Okay, so you heard that exchange and I really don't think anything needs to be said more about what was being discussed there because Megyn Kelly comes from Fox. She's used to being able to get away with things that she can't on the Today Show. Um, they are very aware of how people react and an image to their brand. Fox brand is more her speed. I'll say that. But the whole Halloween costume, this is what you get for celebrating a pagan holiday to begin with. Um, you get into trouble. And it's just negativity that's been going on because more than ever this year, people have been pushing Halloween. Um, I've talked to some people that I know and they're like, you know, at their jobs, they're pushing. Even at mine, it's like this big, huge thing. Halloween's coming. Halloween's coming. Like something is special about this year specifically because, you know, people are telling me it wasn't like that the year before, the year before that, or the year before that. I know in my experience, even years before, it hasn't been pushed heavily people really didn't care but it seems like this year is just everywhere and everybody wants to participate but with the whole thing that she said about the costumes you know the sombrero and the Native American costume and I think you can understand why it's offensive but this is kind of like um mirror into the privileged class of people where they've never experienced any type of discrimination or terroristic threat from someone who doesn't look like them so they have no reference they really don't 
want to have a reference but they have no reference to go by and they think that it's okay she said that she did it all the time you've seen these parties where they are dressing up like in blackface like black people like they'll have the sombreros and the uh ponchos and having shots of tequila they think it's this is fine they think it's funny it's fun to take someone's culture to reference blackface and to say that it's okay it just lets you know that this country is what it has always been and nothing has changed the people back then are the same as they are now there is no difference no matter how they try and say that we've progressed we've gone beyond this just because you know they're not having you on a plantation beating you with a bull whip or you know lynching you with a rope on a tree doesn't mean that anything has stopped it's just the methods are new and modernized for the new modern world but the mindset is still there and you can see this very clear in Megan Kelly who is not old she is not you know 60 and 70 years old with this older mindset and you have even younger people who do this. Like I said, the campus college parties, they are doing it and they're young, they're millennials. So she decided to talk about the woman who dressed up as Diana Ross. Now, this is Luann from The Housewives. I'm not sure which one she is on. I don't care. I really didn't watch the white ones. The only ones that I watched was Orange County and Atlanta. And that was way back when. So, this is her. And this is how she dressed up. Right? Now... First of all, it's not very Diana Ross to begin with, but it is disrespectful. It is blackface to me. There's people sitting up here saying, it looks like she just went t and got a tan. It looks like, you know, how she normally tans. No, the fuck it's not. Because if you look at her here, it's not the same as here. She's visibly darker. She has this exaggerated afro this bigger than life afro and then you know the makeup doesn't go it's horrible she looks like martina big if you've ever seen that freak of nature but they think it's okay they think it's fun they think it's funny they think it's entertainment and the shit is not funny megan kelly also says something about black people um in white face there's no such thing as white face no such thing now when you bring up white face you see this right there's nothing going on when you get down to the bottom of here it's ridiculous because there's no such thing as white face. I couldn't believe that someone actually brought up white face. And as you can see, there's no such thing as white face. That's, there's always an excuse for doing something racist and they can't wiggle their way out of it. They'll just make something up. Her being cut by the Today Show has nothing to do with her blackface comments. I saw an article that I can't find anymore that said that she was on her way out anyway because her segment wasn't doing well. So they were going to cut her anyway. And this blackface situation just added on to it, which pushed her out the door even sooner. That's all. Because it said here... An indication of how Miss Kelly's stock has fallen. She is no longer represented by a talent agent. Miss Kelly cut ties with the creative arts agency this week and a rival agency that was poised to sign 
her on Wednesday, United Talent Agency backed away in the wake of her blackface comments. Such a snub would have been unthinkable less than two years ago when Miss Kelly was a sought after free agent looking to leave Fox News Channel. Adding to her difficulties, guests who had been booked to appear on future episodes of Megyn Kelly Today pulled out this week. They with no apparent support from her colleagues, her bosses, or Hollywood, Miss Kelly would seem to have a remote chance of remaining at NBC, and her tenure there seemed shaky even before this week. After an extended period of pedestrian ratings, Miss Kelly and Mr. Lack had discussed this month on the possible winding down of her portion of today day show by ending of the year according to people briefed on the conversation so this just shows that you know she was going to be out of here before next year and this was way before the blackface comments which the blackface comments mean nothing and the blackface comments had nothing to do with her leaving the Today Show or being pushed out the door, that was already the plan. And that's why I don't give NBC any type of props or I don't see them as doing anything that, you know, was in defense of black people and this racist caricature of us. Now, I ended up watching Roland Martin and what he had to say to M Megyn Kelly. He described it as him educating Megyn Kelly and the nation on why blackface is wrong. Um, if you want to look at that video, it is on YouTube, on his show. It absolutely disgusted me. You know, I watch Roland Martin. I agree with some of the things that he says. I do not um, agree with his politics and the way he goes around too and the way he approaches certain situations and subjects but um, this one really lets me know where some black people are because you you had two black women on the panel and a black man and then you had Roland Martin and the lighter skinned black woman she was saying how she's tired of the conversation because everybody else was talking about there needs to be a conversation there's white people that don't interact with black people and black people that don't interact with white people and there needs to be a uncomfortable conversation there's never been an uncomfortable conversation what about the uncomfortable conversations with Martin Luther King or the uncomfortable conversations with Malcolm X or the uncomfortable conversation with the Black Panther Party. What about those conversations? How many children have to be shot down and killed before you understand a conversation is not going to do shit? I 100% agree with that lady when she said she's sick of a conversation. She doesn't want to have a conversation. It's been long past a conversation. She doesn't want to hear anything about anything unless it has to do with economics and reparations. I 100% agree with her because a conversation is not going to do shit. We've been having a conversation over the last 399 years, there has been praying, there has been marching, there has been panels on television, there has been dynamic leaders speaking to the public generation after generation after generation. And we're still in this situation at this level. And Roland Martin and the more brown skinned black woman and the man, other man that was on the panel want to sit up here and get mad at the lady because she said she didn't want to have any more conversation about race. People always try and say, oh, you know, black people always using a race card. 
which I say who put it in the deck and I encourage any black person to use that card to their advantage, especially living in a system like this. But they're always trying to play the ignorant card as if they don't know anything about their history. They celebrate their history every goddamn year in multiple different ways. But you're going to tell me that they don't know anything about this. They glorify in this. Some of them have secret family treasures of of black people's skin made out of product that they keep hidden but they have a sense of pride in so give me a fucking break to to sit up here and say they need to be educated and they don't know any better i mean that's just something that black people say to themselves because they can't believe that the barbary is still going on to this day and they thought oh we're gonna progress beyond this this will be the generation that won't be so damn racist as if you know these black people who are saying that we need to have a conversation like they don't know where they live like that really pissed me off coming from Roland Martin to sit down and have a conversation y you want to sit across from a a rabbit dog that wants to rip your throat out and have a conversation that is no different than the man who is oh he wants to have a conversation with KKK members and just because they say some nice words and give him a hug they're reformed now it's just like the police officer who, oh, we need to have more training. It's always more training. It's always them playing the fucking ignorant card and black people playing along with it. Just trying to force a friendship with their enemy. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think about Megyn Kelly comments on blackface. And let me know what you think about what Roland Martin said if you did happen to catch his show. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,